Hello everyone. Today we'll be reading the book Corduroy by Don Freeman. Corduroy is a bear who once lived in the toy department of a big store. Day after day he waited with all the other animals and dolls for somebody to come along and take him home. The store was always filled with shoppers buying all sorts of things. but no one ever seemed to want a small bear in grown in green overalls then one morning a little girl stopped and looked straight into quadroy's bright eyes oh mommy she said look there is the very bear i have always wanted not today dear her mother sighed i have spent too much already besides he doesn't look new He has lost the button to one of his shoulder straps. Quadroy watched them sadly as they walked away. I didn't know I would lost a button, he said to himself. Tonight I'll go and see if I can find it. Late that evening when all the shoppers had gone and the doors were shut and locked, Quadroy climbed carefully down from his shelf. and began searching everywhere on the floor for his lost button suddenly he felt the floor moving under him quite by accident he had stepped onto an escalator and up he went could this be a mountain he wondered i think i've always wanted to climb a mountain He stepped off the escalator as it reached the next floor and there before his eyes was the most amazing sight tables and chairs and lamps and sofas and rows and rows of beds this must be a palace quadroy gasped i guess i have always wanted to live in a palace he wandered around admiring the furniture This must be a bed, he said. I have always wanted to sleep in a bed. And up he crawled onto a large thick mattress. All at once he saw something small and round. Why, here is my button, he cried, and he tried to pick it up. But like all other buttons on the mattress, it was tied down tight. He yanked and pulled with both paws until pop off came the button and off the mattress quadroy toppled bang into the tall floor lamp over it fell with a crash quadroy didn't know it but there was someone else awake in the store the night watchman was going his rounds on the floor above When he heard the crash he came dashing down the escalator. Now who in the world did that? he exclaimed. Somebody must be hiding around here. He flashed his light under and over sofas and beds until he came to the biggest bed of all. And there he saw two fuzzy brown ears sticking up from under the cover. Hello he said how did you get upstairs The watchman tucked Quadroy under his arm and carried him down the escalator and set him on the shelf in the toy department with the other animals and dolls Quadroy was just waking up when the first customers came into the store in the morning and there Look at him with a wide warm smile was the same little girl he had seen only the day before I am Lisa she said and you are going to be my very own bear Last night I counted what I have saved in my piggy bank and my mother said I could bring you home Shall I put him in a box for you the sales lady asked Oh no thank you Lisa answered and she carried Quadroy home in her arms she ran all the way up four flights of stairs into her family's apartment and straight to her own room Quadroy blinked 
There was a chair and a chest of drawers and alongside a girl-sized bed stood a little bed just the right size for him. The room was small, nothing like that enormous palace in the department store. This must be home, he said. I know, I have always wanted a home. Lisa sat down with corduroy on her lap and began to sew a button on his overalls. I like you the way you are, she said, but you will be more comfortable with your shoulder strap fastened. You must be a friend, said Cordroy. I have always wanted a friend. Me too, said Lisa and gave him a big hug. The End <laughs>